So I'm going to bring you a video in a well, slightly different location in the off-grid cabin. And that's right, well, we're in the bedroom and I'm still in bed. Now, today's going to be 43 degrees. It's going to be too hot to go in and run the machinery around, so I'm not going in today. But, well, my body clock gets me up at 5 o'clock every morning, regardless of whether I've got the alarm clock on or not. So what I do is I grab myself a cup of joe, I grab the laptop, and I sit here in bed, enjoy a coffee, and, well, I watch some YouTube. Or I might respond some, to some comments I get on my channel. So this channel here is Projects in Paradise. I like watching this channel. Got a very similar channel to me. But after a while, the laptop needs to be charged up. The battery will go low. So how I do that, well, let me show you. So I have this little power station over here. Let me clean forward and grab that. So this little power station here is how I charge my laptop up. So I turn the uh, inverter on in the power station here. I grab my plug. I plug it in to the uh, laptop. And we can see here that it is, well, it is charging up. So that's how I charge the laptop up. But the thing is... I don't really want to be doing it this way because it's not very efficient. So you've got a, a DC power source. Turn that off for a sec. DC power source getting converted up to AC and then converted back to DC to charge up. And, it, and the inverters on these tend to suck the power down pretty quick on these little power stations. So I've got something that I'm playing around with. And I want to start getting into doing some power delivery, uh, sorry, power delivery charging charging my laptop from the pd port so let me show you what i've got so i went and bought myself one of these uh charger cables you can get adapters and these are the cables so this is the plug for my laptop and it plugs into power delivery we can see the specs there it's a four four millimeter by 1.3 millimeter plug the problem is when this got delivered the seller sent the wrong cable. Would that happen on eBay? Uh, someone sending out the wrong product of what you bought? No, that never happens. Well, yeah, that was annoying. I, I have reached out to the seller and they're looking at doing something about that. So it, I, I can't complain. They're a good seller. But I'm not going to wait another two weeks to get another cable sent out. So I've done something slightly different. Well, using my doona as a lovely backdrop, we can see I've got my power delivery cable here. But the plug was the wrong plug. So what I did is I grabbed myself a, if I can get hold of that there, this is a buck converter. So what I've done is I've cut the plug off the end of the cable and I've grabbed this little buck converter. What a buck converter is drops the voltage. So I've got 20 volts coming in. And this is dropping my power down to the 19 volts that my laptop needs. And then what I did is I got an old laptop charger with the correct plug. And I soldered that to the output. And I've made myself a cable. Yeah, I know I should have sent this one back. But like I said, I don't want to be mucking around too much with that. So let, let's plug this in. If we can get the right in here, we'll plug this into here like this. So we've got, and that goes into the, kind of hard to do this with one hand. That goes into the power delivery port like that. And we're going to, you can see we've got that on. We'll turn that on. We grab the other end of this. We plug it into the laptop and the camera changes its white balance. And we can see that any minute now... Here we go, I hit the wrong button. And you can see now my laptop is charging. So we come over here and we're putting 32 watts into the laptop from the power delivery. And that saves me having to use the inverter and this lasts a lot, a lot longer. So what is a buck converter? So over on my bench here, we've got my cup of joe. I have another buck converter, and this is what this is what a buck converter is. And these you can pick them up for about seven dollars. And then you've got your input voltage. Let me see if I can put this down here like this against the backdrop of my lovely doona here. So we've got the input voltage, 
in here so we put our power in here and then our power is out there we've got a little potentiometer here that we turn and regulate our output voltage now you can get another chip that is called a pd trigger board so power delivery trigger board and that is very similar to a buck converter but that has programmable whether it's through be through dip switches or through computer programming or through buttons that gives you your power delivery five volts i think it's five volts nine volts 12 volts and 20 volts the problem with my laptop is my laptop needs 19 volts so the trigger board the power delivery trick come on focus phone there we go the power delivery trigger boards wouldn't be any good for that because i can't dial them into the 19 volts that my laptop needs so i grabbed myself a buck converter instead adjusted the potentiometer and now i've got the power so that is something that you can do now i do want to make mention though you can't get any old USB-C cable, plug it into or wire it into, oh, that's bright, do it this one, wire it into one of these buck converters and expect it to work because, well, my laptop, you can see, needs 30 watts. Now, that's not very much power in the way of amperage and it's running at 20 volts. But if you've got something that is running at a lower voltage and it's wanting to pull a decent amount of amperage you've got to make sure that the power delivery cable that you have is rated to pull the current that your device is going to need that's empty i need to go make another one so i best go do that so i just thought i'd throw this video up for you on a different location sort of something different but just showing you some different things that you can do we're living off grid so using an inverter is not always the way we do things we can use different ideas and concepts like the power delivery and that's certainly becoming more available and more options for us to use now so have a look at power delivery for supplying power to some of the devices as well as charging up for some of your devices and we don't have to use the inverters which take power to run from our batteries so if you like the video give it a thumbs up leave a comment below and like always wait for the next awesome video that's coming out on the off grid channel yep i need to go make another cup of joe